talking about inspiration, we're talking about spreading love, and we're talking about being together. This gentleman is just pure heart, pure soul. And every single time he's on Hit Talks as a speaker or as a guest, he's there always nodding. And I love it because you see, he just connects with every single person that's here as if to say, yes, yes, yes. Which is funny because backstage we can, not funny. It's just synchronistic, it's how it happens because backstage we can see all of the speakers and we can see the guests and that's, so it's absolutely perfect. Anyway, Kyle, I'm gabbling. <laughs> I'm not gonna take any of your eight minutes. You now, my friends, have your full eight minutes to spread your hope, inspiration and transformation. Thank you, Vicky. Thank you to everyone that's uh, part of this wonderful event. Thank you to everyone that's watching. Um, you know, I feel so excited and, you know, perhaps there's some people w that would question, well, why, you know, there's, there's this pandemic that we're dealing with. There's, you know, you guys are over here in the U S you've just gone through a tumultuous election cycle and there's all these tensions around us. And, you know, as much as that might be the case, as much as those things are happening, there's something bigger happening. There's something more incredible than that happening. It's a transformation happening. We are transforming. We're coming out of a, of a what I want to call a dark age, a, a time of being unaware of who we really are and what we're really capable of. People are awakening at a record pace and becoming free from all types of uh, limitations and restrictions and uh, preconceived judgments and, and, and so many things like that. We're waking up and realizing that we are light. We are love. We are the very essence of all that is good. There is... There, there's this purity about us. There is this honesty about us. There is this, 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 this goodness about us. This is who we are. This is what we're recognizing. And humanity, this is spreading through humanity at a record pace. I, I know that it seems like we're, we're not getting anywhere. And I know it seems at times like, my goodness, when are things ever going to get better? But I'm telling you, We've been transforming for a while. We've been transforming for a while and we're gonna to continue to transform because this awakening is inevitable. It's happening. You know, people are waking up in their re religious arena. People are waking up socially. People are waking up in their families. I mean, so many people are finally seeing themselves for the good that they are and the worth that they are and the love that they are and the light that they are. And you know what? Not only are they seeing themselves that way, but they're looking in the eyes of people who they could not see that way before. And they're recognizing, wait a minute, you too are love. You too are light. You too are the very same thing I'm just starting to recognize about myself. And this is amazing. This is exciting. You know, being a person of color, living in a country where it hasn't always been so easy to be a person of color. But I have this optimism that in my lifetime, my color will no longer matter. I have this optimism that in my lifetime, gender won't matter. In my lifetime, you know, your, your, your religious affiliation, if you have one, won't matter because none of that's going to be seen anymore like it was in the past. What's going to be seen, as I just said, is that I see me as light and love. I see you as light and love. And when light sees light and when love sees love, there's this coming together. There's this dance. There's this, this, this celebration of, 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 of what we are and we're, we're doing it as the little kids we once were playing on the schoolyard together, out in the playgrounds together, in our schools together, just not seeing any differences amongst ourselves. We just saw the light and the love and the happiness and the joy in one another. And I tell you, my good friends, 
this is where we are. This is where we are. I know that there's things that seem that want to hold on to the old way, but it is inevitable. This is happening and it's happening so quickly, so rapidly. So many, so many signs are all around us. We're seeing it. We're feeling it. We're knowing it. This knowing is coming into existence for us all. And I tell you, it is an exciting time to be alive. It is an exciting time to be part of all of this. It is an exciting time to be in this place right now where we are. We have this golden, golden, beautiful opportunity to not only seize the moment, but to recognize for the moment for what it is. And it's beautiful. And I want to encourage you. I want to encourage you. When you go out, when you're out and about, be intentional about what you see. Be intentional about your perception. Let your perception begin to be that of good. Let your perception start to be that of love and of light. And I tell you, as you start to see it for yourself, and as you start to know it for yourself, as I said a few times already, it's automatic. You'll walk outside one day and you'll see someone and you'll see the same thing that you, you, you're just starting to see about yourself. These are exciting times, my friends. And I want you to know that you know, I, well, let me say this. I used to be a preacher. So, you know, sometimes the preach wants to come out when I'm talking this way because I get excited. But I, I want you to know, because I would say that in church, I want you to know. <laughs> but I want you to know that you are pure love. You are pure light. You are pure good. You just are. And it's time for you to see yourself that way. It's time for you to know yourself that way. Whatever happened in the past is the past. As Ron was saying, we, we're, we're living in the now. What's the now? You awakened to being pure love. You awakened to being pure light. This is your now. This is who you are. Live in it. Enjoy it. Embrace it. Celebrate it. And just be who you are. It's okay. It's okay to love. It's okay to be like, it's okay to let these things come out of you. You know, we've been so afraid for so long to be love. We've been so afraid for so long to be light because we thought it would be rejected, but I don't really know anyone that rejects love. Let's be the love that we are. Let's be the light that we are. It's who we are. So we might as well just be it. Thank you so much for this time. My time is up. I've enjoyed this time immensely. And I look so, I, I, I so look forward to what we as a people will continue to do collectively as we continue to awaken to who we really are. Thank you all so very much. I love you. Thank you, Kyle. Transforming from our limitations. Yes. Transformation. And the new world that we are going to, as you say, maybe everybody else has a, has a word for what 2020 and the past has been. The dark ages? <laughs> but I do know and I do believe from my heart and from my soul that we are going into a new era. We are going into a new world of transformation, just exactly as you said, Kyle, transformation to actually believe that together and in alliances, that when we guide with the new world and the intentions of, of transformation and love, then we are going to be able to rise, raise the vibrations. So 